Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, to the Lord of Salt Grim here. Today we are finally picking back up where we left off in Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission, playing on PC via Steam. Highly recommend this game to any Dragon Ball Z fans. Uh, basically an interactive card game, but with actual battle scenes that play out, and it's just a ton of fun. So we're going to dive back to story mode. We finished chapter 1 last time. We are now just starting chapter 2, an anomaly. The Saiyan Strike. And we get, of course, a summation of what happened last time, in case you guys missed it or weren't there. Oh yeah, we're starting a team called the Dragon Ball Heroes. And, uh, our goal is to save the world. So no joined us, but we had some sparring rounds against her. We beat her up pretty good. It was a lot of fun. And um, that was how it ended. So now, we're officially a team, and we're diving back in for some more excitement. All right, and this is how the game is normally played. You've got this uh, layout, of course, and you can check the missions in the battle after stunning the enemy. Okay. Maybe we'll be able to succeed in that, and you can also, by hitting the other button, check the map, which there isn't much to look at at the moment, but, yeah, if we can succeed in the special, uh, it'll give us that other route as well, which I believe is a bonus item, if I remember. But we're checking out anomalies in the Dragon Ball Heroes card game. And this is the Saiyan Saga, folks. This is where the story starts. So you kind of know what to expect. Oh, an anomaly strikes. This is one of my favorite anomalies, by the way. Black clouds. They're here. Sack of wet mice, eh? Not good. The Saiyans arrived early. Damn anomalies. History is being rewritten. Where does this sound familiar from? We played Xenoverse or a lot of the different Dragon Ball Z games lately. Probably heard that story get rewritten. Well, mostly from Xenoverse these days, at least internationally. Oh, look who's joined them! Raditz and Turles. These two were a team in the Dragon Ball Minus manga, which is technically not canon, but I mean, it could be. It kind of fits. But not officially, of course. And naturally, they've been boosted. Everyone gets a boost when they violate the timeline, it seems. But it is pretty cool to see all the evil Saiyans together. Classic Saiyan team-up. Kind of thing I wish Xenoverse had done, but uh, they saved Turles for the uh, Namek Saga, along with Lord Slug for whatever reason. <laughs> of course, these two are fan fanboy fangirling because they're both Saiyan fans, so that's why their avatars are patterned after Saiyans, and they both have tails. Let's do this. Seamus, chill. It always gets uppity when I play. I don't know what it feels like sometimes. And they do, of course, have all have giant ape forms in this game as well. Uh, that you can unlock, either as an ability or as uh, individual cards. But you can only have... I think you can get 
Seamus, knock it off. I think you can get two giant characters in this game. One if you transform into it, and one you can already have on the in the deck when you start the fight. So I think I think you can do it that way. I haven't actually tried. So we'll select the member. We're gonna do this. I like to. First and foremost. This is the team I've assembled for us. So yes, it's a Saiyan Saga team. As close as you can get anyways. Uh, without using some card creation. Our HP is kind of low. I mean, that's the, the team we've got assembled. Uh, we've got stamina, recovery, and hero miss. Well, that's pretty good stuff. Stamina, recovery especially. Um, yeah, Zenny is really hard to come by. You're going to have a lot of those HP buffs, so we might as well use them. Zenny is way too hard to grind in this game. That's one of my major criticisms. Alright, off we go, guys. Okay guys, so we won our first battle, we got some interesting uh, things here, future Super Saiyan Gohan, Mustard, and uh, some interesting cards, good stuff, good item. Uh, we've got the H Robo, Hero Robo Guard Buster Defense Level 1, versus Level 3, why would you even want, yeah. sometimes it's kind of obvious folks which ones to pick. Uh, but that battle went pretty well. You saw the beginning of the Z Warrior special ability, uh, which is a pretty useful ability for using, you know, at the beginning of the game. Oh, we learned Kamehameha for the hero. Make sure when those pop up, you check which uh, <laughs> which class it's for. It's pretty good. Uh, note leveling up, also good. A couple times. Yep, super attack could be changed there. Yeah, we got we got to start using Gohan Teen. But yeah, that was the beginning of it. Obviously, like I said, Z Warriors a very useful special ability early game. Uh, it's not a late game ability. So if you're like I said before, if you're meta gaming this and you know you're starting with the newer um, packs like the UVM mission packs. Rather than going like the beginning of, of the heroes packs, then the Z Warriors are never going to be useful for you. But we were lucky enough to get the hero bonus or the ultra objective there. So and you can see a dimensional barrier. That's our first uh, our first rift. If we get an ultra condition at that battle, right behind it there, uh, we'll unlock that. So and that'll open up a whole new side story for us. Yeah, it's telling us right now. We got the Prince of All Saiyans altar, we need to get the soul of a prince, which is the next battle. 
But because we triggered the Ultra here, we did unlock this. So let's grab our item. A couple rare tickets. And an EXP boost, which is good. Of course, we don't need tickets anymore. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, well, first up, there's, there's a couple things I wanted to do before moving on. First, we do want to go to hero... Um, abilities here. Of course, we can switch. None of these have been unlocked yet. But when you pick hero... Uh, you do have an option to pick your special attacks, so we'll switch over to the Kamehameha, which we just learned, because it is better than that full power uh, blast we have now. Okay. And again, going back here, I'm going to jump in the deck creator real quick, because um, we encountered something here with the Z-Warriors. Drive. Yeah, you see, there's two with Drive. So we want to pick one of these, probably Tien's fine, let's see, um, we want to replace his Z-Warrior with, um, with a different one, so let's go ahead and do it by name, yep, that popped him right up, um, Drive, does anybody have Drive? You see this is <laughs> the other downside I haven't, well one person has Miracle, uh, drive sounds familiar. Alright, that one, even if somebody else has the Warrior's Worth, it's still worth having because it'll stack, right? So let's double check these. Yeah, see, he had Worth, but that's okay because it'll stack. Nobody had Drive. Oh, no, no. Yeah, Drive was the one we had. Alright, and Miracle, like I said, going out there. Okay. So, yeah, that's, um... So far, so good. we got to do a Charge Impact Challenge with Krillin here. Early Charge Impact Challenges aren't too bad. Uh, you know, you don't uh, lose anything for trying them, so it doesn't hurt to try. I'm still... My reflexes are still set to end game. I did finally beat the final boss on my Switch. So, um... Yeah, I've got plenty of advice for that one as well. Now, again, we can check here. Win all Charge Impacts. That's a tricky one. Okay, we might not trigger that this time. In which case, I'll have to come back and do it later. But this is all going to be edited together anyway, so... Actually, we, we took care of all the others. Now, only Vegeta's left. So what'll happen next? Will he turn into a giant ape? Uh-oh, here he goes. I always like Saiyan Saga Vegeta. It's uh, all the Saiyan Saga characters. You know, we're getting to relive this uh, in this game is a lot of fun. Getting the, the team all together, even if they're not technically accurate, but uh, they're close enough. And uh, it's still a lot of fun. And hopefully in this fight you guys will actually get to see the effect of the uh, Z-Warrior special ability. Besides the conditional ones, of course. It's gotta be... Goku and friends, the Saiyan Saga team has arrived! They don't actually... And yeah, I don't have Chaosu on my team. He is there, and they got Saiyan Saga Chaosu. Uh, but I did want to keep Beat in the team, so... If I if you go do, like, a... You know, tournament mode or arcade mode, you can get that team as you like. Which ah, is pretty cool. Seamus! Crying out loud, chill. Uh, unfortunately, when heroes show up like this... For, for a fight, they don't actually help for the fight, so... <laughs> I kind of wish that you automatically, like, unlock certain cards or stickers for, you know, triggering scenes like this, you know? But, unfortunately, that's not really a thing. So, uh, you know, you, you, you do what you do. But, um, yeah, it's still a lot of fun putting the old Saiyan Saga team. I, I've always been partial to Saiyan Saga. It's actually where I started watching the franchise back when it was on regular TV, um, the old Ocean dub was, uh, it was, it was halfway through the, well, the Battle with Nappa and Vegeta was my first episode, which, it was interesting, but it was a, it was a crazy fight, it was a lot of fun to watch, so this has always been kind of a favorite character roster of mine, the Saiyan Saga character, Saiyan Saga Vegeta, Nappa, even Raditz, of course, even Turles, we throw them in there, and, uh, and all, all the Z-Warriors, you don't see a lot of them get together anymore and actually do anything. This was the last time, really, we saw them all together uh, fighting together, so it was pretty cool. And uh, unfortunately, it didn't happen uh, after that. <laughs> Not really. Well, they got together for the androids, but they didn't do much, most of them. The Great Ape! 
it would be tough to fight the Great Ape. But you actually, uh, you never fight a giant character by himself because they can't actually be targeted. So, uh, yeah, that's a thing. It's true form. Here we go, guys. He's powering up. It's over 9,000. Holy shit, Super Saiyan 3 Saiyan Saga Vegeta. And, uh, oh yeah, he's way powered up. Um, this is a card that is not normally in the game. Saiyan Saga Vegeta at all isn't normally. You have to make him. So same with Super Saiyan 3 Saiyan Saga Vegeta. Uh, you can make him, obviously. He does exist in game. You just, uh, you have to make him yourself. Which is expensive. And again, that's where the grinding Zenny becomes an issue. Um, and even just unlock him. I, he might unlock from the store from this mission. I'm not sure. Uh, I showed you guys before all the characters that were available. When we finish uh, this chapter, you have to finish the whole story chapter. So not the chapter of chapters, but the overall chapter. So we're not going to unlock anything, I think, from this battle. Although we'll check at the end just to see. And, uh, yeah, hopefully this time I'll get to actually show you guys the Z-Warrior ability if, you know, they manage to last long enough. And that's another thing to note. Even though these characters are, are low level, you saw how low my hit points were. You know, my life pool. Um, that's that's using characters from this area. There is a bit of a power scale in here, so when you're using Saiyan Saga characters, they're going to be weak card. But the Z Warrior ability is a is a big boost, especially when used proper appropriately. And uh, of course, you put stickers on to make them stronger too. I put a few stickers on, nothing crazy. Shut up, game! I really wish you wouldn't talk. Over. But here we go, guys. Let's do it. Do it to it. Uh, round two again. We'll probably do the missile because we get stamina, so we're okay. Uh, I'm not going to mess too much with that stuff. Maybe the XP boost. Mm, we'll use an XP boost. Let's rock the dragon, guys! Well, guys, I can't believe it, but <laughs> I missed one clash impact, man. I tell ya. One clash impact is all it takes. Final round reward. Yeah, okay. And otherwise, it went pretty well. I oh, still didn't get to see the Z Warrior actual special attack. <laughs> Elite type's been unlocked, so we'll you know check that out for next time. No leveling up, even though we didn't use her, but it's all good. We can change our battle type and hero data. We still need to get that. So I will take a minute uh, 
and redo that fight. But luckily you guys won't have to sit through it. Um, and take care of that. And I'm sure we'll get to see that attack eventually. It's entirely possible uh, when we get, you know, like normally this is the end of that section. We've got that uh, to do up there, but I'll be right back, guys. Hold on a second. Okay, guys, so that wasn't too bad. <laughs> Only took one more try. I also got the one-star Super Dragon Ball uh, because Zeno was there. You might have seen a little Mecha Zeno thing uh, hanging out in the corner. Uh, when you succeed in a battle with one of those, you automatically get a Super Dragon Ball, which is pretty nifty. So we'll head down here first. Well, we've got Boo of all people. Keep the enemy in two rounds or fewer. Well, that's what we've been doing so far, but there's no clear bonuses for it. There's no hidden tracks here or anything. But we'll go for it anyway. Chao Su! Carrying groceries. Yeah, like I said, it's uh, true to the period. Chao Su and Tien are training, so Chao Su had to go off and get some food. Um, there's two versions of Chao Su, uh, model wise. There's the uh, Saiyan Saga version, and there's the Dragon Ball version where he has the shirt on, the old pants. Um, so that's pretty cool. You've also got a Dragon Ball version of TN, which makes three TNs all together. Because you've got uh, the Android Saga TN, which is the one we're using because they don't have his Saiyan Saga, or thusly Tournament Saga attire, um, and his Boo Saga attire. Unfortunately, they don't have a Super attire. I kind of wish they did. That was a pretty cool outfit he had uh, in the new Saga. So, But luckily, um, Dragon Ball Sparking Zero does have that version of TN, so <laughs> we can look forward to him there. Alright. Yeah, we gotta make sure we have plenty for Ken. Interestingly enough, a launch is not in this game at all, so... One of the few that just didn't make it. I mean, we got multiple Bulmas. No Chi-Chi's, no launch. So, such as it is, right? We do have, uh, Mai. Future Mai. So there's that. <laughs> you know, there's a few there. Of course, Majin Buu is going to come and steal all the food, right? A little weird that he'd be even awake in this timeline, but like I said, that's the whole distortion thing. And this is just an extra battle, so it's really in a normal, normal challenge level, so it should be pretty easy. Like I said, even though Chasu is visually helping us, he's not actually going to be in the fight, so... Uh, we'll keep going with this team. This team rock and rolls. But there's not as much pressure this time because there's no... No opening up portals to other areas. We, I did get a camera for that last fight. So, uh... For scanning. Uh, this is a bonus battle. We'll leave this stuff off. Off to the battlefield!
there you have it, folks. Thanks to Gohan, we were able to defeat Majin Buu and help out Chaosu. I wonder where... Oh, we finally got a round one. Too bad it's a guard reduction, but it's uh, better than nothing. Good job so far. Bond's doing good. Camaraderie's doing good. And Boo goes back to sleep. You're a weird one, Majin Buu. Now, there are a lot of versions of uh, Majin Buu in this game. Uh, pretty much every edition of the, the Super Dragon Ball Heroes card packs has one, because he's part of the main Universe 7 team. So, you know, along with the other cards that we started the game with, uh, you're going to see a lot of variations of Buu. Of Fat Buu. <laughs> and then they do have, technically, Mr. Buu. From GT, well, Krillin's gonna give us another impact challenge here. Sometimes these roaming characters can get a little irritating because so far it's been fine. They're just charging attacks, but sometimes those roaming characters will trigger battles, and some of them are actually pretty tough and lengthy. And when you trigger one, you cannot untrigger it. So, before we head to the end of the chapter, let's go ahead and do the extra dimensional space which will focus as a continuation of the story. So we've got Goku with a charge impact here. Okay, and we've got a battle with multiple branching paths. Oh, this is just a capture slice. I always go the middle. For some reason, I just kind of feel like it's the good one. And it got me a miracle item. So that's not, I mean, it's not the good, a better miracle item, but 3% is better than nothing. Um, so if we look at this battle real quick, we'll see it's more fights against the sand. This time they got Cybermen. Uh, we have to attack first each round, which could actually be tricky. Uh, it's a normal difficulty battle, though, so it shouldn't be too bad. So obviously you have to complete the Ultra to unlock the other areas here. So uh, let's see if we can do this. It actually shouldn't be too bad. Vegeta struggling against these bums. How could it be? And this is a section of the story you could easily miss. You know, your first time through, if you didn't trigger that Ultra condition... And that's a tough ultra condition for a beginner to, to succeed in all charge impacts. Yeah. Of course, we got another anomaly. Things are going to get even worse. Everything's distorting. Vegeta's still going. Can't keep the good Saiyan down. Hopefully this time I'll actually get to show you guys the Z-Warrior special attack as well. And it does have other bonuses, which is good. Nappa and Raditz are back. So the OG three Saiyans teaming up again. And uh, the fight continues. Interestingly enough, there's only one Raditz card and only a couple Nappas in the game. So... <laughs> you have to make them if you want more to customize them all. Of course, Cybermen are here too. Again, there's no Cyberman cards in the game. You have to make those. Uh, but when you finish the story, which, uh, again, the whole story chapter, you'll unlock those, I think. We'll see when we get to that. But I'm pretty sure you have to do the whole thing. But we should be fine, and in two turns, should be able to do it. If not, again, I'll, I'll come back to it. Recover Lowering guard is actually a little more useful than guard. Because we want, uh, let's see, uh, extra XP, why not? Uh, Zenny definitely help, yeah. Energy wouldn't be, uh, let's go all out this time. We need all the little boosts. Um, if we're gonna finish it in two rounds, and attack first, power level boost would be really nice, but, uh,
Okay, so we got kind of lucky there. Um, <laughs> I thought the Z-Warrior uh, stamina restoration was a much better effect than that. That was... Uh, I have to I have to double check how that works. Might have to, to undo the change that I made there. Because uh, it's, it's not restoring stamina or for some reason doesn't affect... I mean, if it doesn't affect the power level, it's not that big a deal. But, um... Yeah. That was close. And uh, we did it, though, which is good. So we unlock that. HBTN Ultra. Alright, so... Each me TN, win all charge impacts. That's kind of a tough one too. So let's go for it though. Saw Chasu earlier, now we get the CTN. So naturally studying under TN, he'd make a good teacher for starting off any sort of like a regional Dragon Ball story, right? Him or Krillin. Yamcha probably less so. Yamcha's more like if you want dating advice or something. <laughs> or maybe to learn how to be a bandit. Maybe. It is Boo Saga at the end, so maybe that's why he's, he's thinking of the, what he does in Super, which is opening up his own, uh, his own dojo. The Volleyball Fist. I don't think it actually unlocks a Volleyball Fist. You'd think it would, but I don't think it's in the game. Three Spikes. Nice ones, yeah, and Dairy King Joe. Classic stuff. Chuck and Dive. I don't, I don't know volleyball, so I don't know any of these references. <laughs> Courts in session. Alright, so winning all our charge impacts against the end shouldn't be too bad. Let's go for it, guys. Power of Z. Um. Yeah. We don't need to go all out this time, but the usual buffs are nice. Here we go. Rock and roll. Okay, guys, well, we won, but once again, I managed to goof, and uh, I'll have to do it again. Bio Paralyzed Beam? 
I actually don't know who that belongs to. Bio Boom? Probably not. Oh well. Another round four reward. Another useless camera. Alright guys, so let's get through this. And I will have to do this again. Strong Soul level two. Okay. So yeah, it's TN's a little tougher. He gets those Clash Impact. I hate it when they, they require success on all the Clash Impacts. And I don't like it when you have to get a perfect Clash Impact. Those are the two Ultra Conditions I really don't like. Attacking first, it can be tough, but it's okay. Um, maintaining a certain power level each round depends on the power level, but it's usually okay. Um, yeah, doing so much damage, it's usually easy. Some charge impacts easy, some aren't, but I'll be right back, guys. Give me a sec. And I also confirmed the speed of the Alright, guys, third time was a charm. Got some stickers, which is good. Mega pressure unit sets, Men of the Force. I don't know what that one does. I have beaten this game and I still don't know all the shit. Okay, so another final round. Power level boost. Stamina recovery. Never like the HP reduction. I mean, we'll never make it to a final round. But, uh, I guess we got it. Usually before you get there, in the fourth round, Beerus will show up and destroy the planet. And, uh, and that usually ends the fight. Unless you happen to have a revival card with a revive ability. Okay, destructive disc can be used by our support type. Again, make sure you catch that. This stuff goes by pretty quick even when you don't uh, mash a button. Super Dragon Fist for Berserker type. Heroes, that's the hero type. We did unlock the support type, but we haven't unlocked the uh, Berserker type yet. Alright, and we saw all that already. But we finally unlocked the last bonus area. I mean, doing these bonus areas are optional. They don't actually affect anything, but it's, it's extra stuff to do and extra... Oh, damn it, Goku. Well, at least he's just giving us a capsule selection. Right, let's go with the first one. I do not care. Alright, Seamus. Item that I can't use nice. Well, I'll give me Zenny, so... A little bit. Tiny, tiny little bit. The cheapest stuff you can buy with Zenny. It's 2000 is the cheapest stuff, but... Right, as you can see here, normal fight against Jackie Chun. Each phase with 6,000 or higher. A little tricky. We'll have to put in an extra guy. I think we usually get like 59 when we start with our usual group. So we'll have to add somebody to it. But yes, Jackie Chun. And uh, again, he's not a card that's normally in the game. He was part of the original Dragon Ball Heroes uh, card game. But not all the cards, of course, made it into this game particularly. So the ones that didn't, we got stickers for so we can make them. And so there's a character sticker. Or Jackie Chun. And again, you will unlock Jackie Chun whether or not you trigger this battle. It's, it's not about fighting the fight. It's not about beating him. You know, it's all about uh, just finishing the chapter. The story chapter. So, that's the important part. You can get Jackie Chun. You can also get Master Roshi in the Jackie Chun outfit, you know, in the black uh, suit there. So, yeah, that's also a thing. Um, and he's actually pretty tough in this fight, as I remember. It's been a little while. It's still a normal rank, so it's not too bad, but... Uh, and again, for advice for getting, um, winning all charge impacts, it is help. Excuse me. It's helpful if you have a defensive mod. Modules can always be helpful, but a defensive module will not count as a lost charge impact, so... Especially with these characters like Tien was, who had a double, you know, could attack twice each turn. Um... And he gets, and he got pretty high on the charge impact there, so it was it was a little tough. But if you had a, a defense module, it could have taken one of those hits and made that a bit easier. But unfortunately, we haven't unlocked any defensive modules for round one or two yet. We'll go again with beat, pretty much sticking with beat. All right, we'll go with our main team, and we will go back to using some items here. This, uh, money, money's hard to come by, and HP you just get a lot of, so, alright, alright guys, off to the battle!
Okay, guys, we did it, and you finally got to see Ooh, that paragraph, too. Um, you finally got to see the Z Super, tough as nails, and death beam. Guessing tough as nails is for nail. Always good to have death beam, though. There's a lot of Frieza type characters. Stamina recovery level 4 is what we already have. Um, there's a lot of Frieza type characters you have unlocked. Cooler, uh, the different forms of Frieza. Uh, he's, his first form and his final form are in there, but if you want his second, third, or his uh, final form 100%, or Mecha Frieza, all of those are cards you have to make, on top of which. Uh, it's the same deal with, um, Chilled? Was it Chilled was his ancestor, I think? Yes. And, um, first form cooler, uh, you know, well, final form, first form, you know, the first way he looks. <laughs> his normal cooler cards in this game are him in his final form, his transform state, so. Um, an awfully calm exit. It was a pretty tough fight, though. The thing is, um... Jackie Chun here, the way he was built, he was a hero card, he had a lot of defense, and he had things that buffed his defense, so it, it took a little more to get him down. Uh, and again, an optional fight, and I don't think there's any more optional fights, I think that one's just a normal one. Here we got, uh, oh god, what was the Namekian Shenron's name? Perunga. Perunga's here, so that'll be interesting. What are our details? Win all charge impacts. Well, we'll go for it. You guys have seen the kind of luck I've had lately with charge impacts. <laughs> Yeah, the Saiyans still seem to be going strong, even though we beat them again. Wonder what's up with these guys. What could it be? They're powering up even more! Super Saiyan Raditz! Super Saiyan Nappa with a beard! Now, the game does actually have Super Saiyan Nappa and Super Saiyan Raditz in it. So, uh, you can get those cards. In fact, first time I played this game, it's pretty easy to get Super Saiyan Raditz. He's in the first hero set, I believe. Uh, he's not that rare. Uh, you'll probably get him if you're doing like I did and kind of going up naturally. Um, yeah. Uh, let's go for it, guys. We have to win all Clash Impacts. Ah, uh, for item wise. Uh, this is, there's probably gonna be a round three for this. Uh, which would give us a guard. Uh, let's go round two. Uh, we'll keep these items, should be fine. Let's get ready to rock and roll, boys. Bring it! Bring the pain! Get wrecked, whatever phrase you like to use.
Urunga Jackpot! So that was a close battle guy. But... Yeah, that's kind of bullshit I'm going to call because watch, I'll stop it. See, I stopped it on big bonus, the ball. But I got 15 XP instead. I'm, I call bullshit on this mode. It's Urunga Jackpot. <laughs> I never liked it. Uh, let's see. Now, what, what, what attack sticker did we get? Electric Slime. Oh, I'm not even sure who uses that. Oh, that's uh, something from Booze and Science, maybe? I don't know. Guard Reduction. Fuck Guard Reduction. Especially round 3, level 1 now. Um, yeah, that was a close one. I made two mistakes. I missed uh, one of the charge impacts, and that was an important one. That was the Goku, uh, Gohan, my Berserker charge impacts, which... You know, the Goku's got the EX burst on him, which was, is always a huge bonus to his damage. And, um, and the two of them are the strongest, so... Missing their supers was a big hit. And, uh, I got lucky because I put that triple attack on B. Yeah, that was a triple attack, and triple attacks get a bonus if the characters are all the same type. Same with double attack. Um, I don't have a double attack because I didn't do the tutorials, so... <laughs> Oh yeah, see, it's just an item up there. It looks like I unlocked it anyway. Nope. But I can see it, which is it's an item. It's not too bad. Really. So yeah, even if you lose it, you can still check and see what it is. To see if it's worth it. The only time you can is when it's sealed like this root was. Uh, that was sealed. So to even see what that was, we had to trigger it. And it looks like we got no more from here on. It's unexpected Grade 8 transformation in two rounds or fewer. Yeah, probably not going to do that ultra. But in this case, there's no uh, alternate roots. So there's there's no worry about getting the ultra. Hopefully I can still do it with this group. That's my primary worry. Uh, this team, the Saiyan Saga team, it's, it's not very strong, and uh, it's it's probably gonna have some trouble. Here. And um, yeah, so we can look forward to a tough fight here. Anytime you're up against giant apes, uh, things get tricky, and it's it's also a more advanced battle, so it's, it's just gonna be more difficult. Great Ape incoming! And yeah, some cards can do the Great Ape transformation. Uh, the ones you'll find will be Goku and Gohan. Uh, you know, Kid Gohan, Kid Goku, Dragon... Well, they call them Team Goku for some reason. But yeah, they're your basic Great Apes. Uh, but any Saiyan can turn into a Great Ape. Uh, it's, this is an ability you can equip. Um, although what Great Ape you turn into depends on the ability, so you have to be careful of that. You know, you could put a Great Ape on, on Raditz and he turns into... Vegeta Great Ape or something, you know? It's, it's, yeah, we got Raditz as a Great Ape. Uh, you, you have a giant character in your deck, you know, if you have the card. There are giant characters. Um, and then you can have one transform into a giant ape. And in that way, I think you can have two giants. I haven't actually tried it yet, though. Of course, Vegeta's after the kids, too. Yeah. You do want to kill these guys in two rounds, any more than that, and it's, it starts getting dangerous, but... You know, we're gonna play our usual strategy here, because it hasn't failed us yet, although it came close last time, but I can't... I can't goof it up this time. In fact, I should... maybe, should I? Maybe we'll go all out with the items, because, um... It's a big fight, so assuming I win. <laughs> we have to do it again, I won't use them all, so here we go, guys. Let her rip!
Okay, yeah, we made it, guys. Sorry for the quiet there. I was <laughs> kind of besides myself. It was a close fight. Luckily, the EX boost, EX burst I put on Goku got us through there. EX burst can be very useful for a lot of fights. Um, for most of them, really. There's only a few that it doesn't come in handy for. And that does complete this uh, bonus area. We'll go ahead and trigger the story to make it official. Um, yeah, that was a tough... <laughs> that's a tough fight. I was lucky because even though I'm using technically weaker characters, we had less HP. That's what was really, and they were, you saw the damage. Uh, Cybermen were doing a lot of damage. Even just Cybermen, they were beefed up enough uh, that they were hurting us. And luckily we beat them before the giant apes could do anything. Because even if they missed, uh, they would have done huge damage to us. So, uh, yeah. So there you see, they had two great apes and they attacked with both of them, or they were going to. Luckily we had a, a slightly higher power level. Um, that was a big help, but, yeah, that was a tough one, um, with this deck, and to be honest, when I was playing this the first time, uh, I actually lost, I couldn't beat that fight, I tried, tried, and I had to come back with a stronger team later, uh, to actually pull it off, so, if you don't have the right cards, the right abilities, um, and the, the Z-Warrior boost really helped, because it gave us a, a lot of extra stamina, uh, which allowed us to attack with more, more damage. And the EX burst was what sealed it on the Goku. If you don't have that Kaioken Goku, it's a lot tougher. That's a stronger Kaioken. That's actually the strongest Kaioken Goku. So, again, taking advantage of being on the PC version. So we're done here. Uh, now, again, we could just take the easy way here. It avoids anyone who might have spawned in, you know, any extra clash impact challenges or anything like that. All right, and we just need the cutscenes here and we're done, guys. Um, yeah, that's the complete Attack of the Saiyans. Chapter 1 of Chapter 2. I hate how they do that, but <laughs> it's what it is. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's fun. It's always fun to revisit the Saiyan Saga. And that was that was a pretty beastly rewrite of the Saiyan Saga. I mean, say what you will about Xenoverse. Um, but between the team of uh, Nappa and Vegeta teaming up with Raditz and Turles, uh, and then Nappa, Vegeta, and Raditz going Super Saiyan, and then... Getting two great apes, Vegeta and Raditz, for the final fight. Uh, that's a pretty epic Saiyan Saga remix, you know? So, uh, I'm very thankful for that. The only thing that probably would have made it more epic would have been if Broly showed up, but... You know, or, you know, who knows what else. But, yeah, it's, uh, that was a lot of fun. And, uh... So yeah, good episode, guys. Good episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, next time, we'll be starting... We'll probably do two chapters next time, because uh, the first chapter... Uh, the next chapter, chapter two of chapter two is uh is one fight so it's a tough fight but it's just one fight um so we'll probably continue into the uh third and final chapter of chapter two next video so hopefully i'll have that for you guys later this week at some points but yeah chapter one completes chapter two hero town in danger Actually, we might, yeah, we'll, we'll do chapter two. I just remembered there's more stuff in there than I remembered. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. I'll see you all next time. Until then, this is Grim signing off saying stay salty.